Hello everyone! So it's been a bit of a while that I've kind of sat down in my bathroom in front of a camera. Reason is because I wasn't really doing a lot with my hair, I was just keeping it kind of purple. I was in a job where I couldn't kind of keep changing my hair colour a lot, so I just couldn't really like, there was no point in me doing kind of a video about purple hair every time. Many other reasons, I also, about a year and a half ago, I completely fucked my hair up because I dyed it red. Trying to get the red out, I ended up bleaching my hair and frying off half my hair. So all this is a year and a half growth. Just kind of explain, I basically had about that much of my hair there and I've managed to grow this back out. I'm going to a hairdresser for getting kind of my roots done, trying to get my hair okay which i have my hair is back on track which is great um i have been dyeing it but only just kind of a purple haven't really been doing much of the colors because i've been just I've, i just haven't been really been able to i was a little cheeky in being allowed purple hair at work so shh. today i'm going to dye my hair purple <laughs> i have just got um gone and got my roots done my roots are ridiculously yellow i am supposed to be kind of taking the time but i hate my yellow roots so i'm just going to dye my hair purple and hope that it gets rid of the yellow, fingers crossed, and yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do today. Other reasoning, this might be my last ever video for purple hair, or any kind of colourful hair, because I might be going back, to, well, I will be going back to dark hair at some point in the next kind of few months. I had my hair done yesterday, um, and at the end of it my hair was just not taken to the bleach, that's why my roots are so yellow. My scalp as well was not reacting to it very well. Um, I've had it before where like my scalp has just not wanted to have this bleach on my on my face. Obviously, you don't want bleach on your skin anyway, but really, really didn't like it. So my hairdresser basically said to me, "I my next time I dye my hair, as in I want to get like when my roots have grown out, is I have to go dark." Um, yeah. It's, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit kind of like zoned out. I was like, what the f? I was like, what? What? <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't tell me that I kind of purple hair anymore. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit weird. Going back to kind of like, I've already decided I'm gonna go kind of black, purpley, very dark, purpley, but kind of black colour. It's gonna be weird because I've had purple hair for so long in a way having my purple hair has kind of defined, defined me in a way. A lot of people know me and recognise me because of my hair. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a shock when I've kind of, when I suddenly go back to, back to black. I could go to my natural hair colour which is brown, but I don't like brown, don't think brown suits me at all. So I do miss my black hair, it does pop up in my memories on Facebook and it did suit me. So it's just going to be a bit upsetting and I know I'm gonna to to take a bit of time to get used to it not being able to waking up and having kind of purple hair that's kind of the downside like it's a bit annoying so I'm kind of just gonna take this next month to take this as my last hurrah of like having colorful hair right so yeah anyway uh where were we oh yeah back to today today we are done and got my hair purple with I'm gonna try Stargazer. Yeah, I've never used Stargazer before myself, personally. Oh no, I, no, I have. I used one of their reds, but it's really orangey red and I didn't really like it. I'm trying this purple one. Not really much else to say about it. The only reason I have this is because I was around a friend's house and literally we just found some bleach. Um, I bleached the rest of his hair. And then as a joke I was like, oh, shall I dye your hair? And I dyed his hair purple before we went to Bloodstock. <laughs> Didn't know what purple, you, purple would work so I got a, a lot of dark purple which is the one he went. And then I also bought these as well um, because I thought, oh well, if I he doesn't use them, I can use them. So we're going to try these. So... Let's let's have a go. Um, what am I going to use? I haven't dyed well. I have dyed my hair, but not a lot. Um, so luckily, gloves come with these. That's one reason actually I've been wanting to try stargaze because gloves come with them. So I am actually going to have non purple. No, I've already got purple hair oh man. Yay! Here are the gloves. I'm gonna have a bowl and a tip brush, which is gonna use my whole head. Yeah, we're also gonna need some hair clips. And this is just when you sectioned your hair off, you can put all your 
clips in there and stuff. Hairbrush! This is a tiny little hairbrush because I needed to buy one because I left my hairbrush when I went to said friend's house to do their hair. I left all my hairbrushes there. So yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna quickly brush my hair actually now that I have it. And uh, my battery's running out as well on my uh, thing. Yay! Let's get ready. Um, oh yeah, I need to section my hair now, don't I? Mm. But yeah, anyway. Um, my battery's running out, so I'm going to change the battery. And then we're going to finish off dyeing hair. So to start off, um, I'm going to put the colour into the mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add some, a little bit of my Pantene Pro V Repair and Protect Conditioner. Then I'm going to add some of my Lee Stafford for hair that can't grow past a certain length. This is just to dilute it so that the colour isn't too bright. And then you just mix it together. And then that's what you get. 